Baby, be in love with your fantasies. I can be a star, make a sky so bright. Welcome to my dungeon. This is ecstasy. Let me play the fantasy. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we're back, back like we, we never, never left. left. We appreciate y'all for tuning in yeah. for another reaction. Most importantly, we appreciate y'all for hitting that thumbnail and supporting the channel. Now, y'all know how we do about this time. We're about to jump into another video. And this particular video, uh, there's a reason why I wanted to check this one out, too, uh, particularly. Now, this is actually Kate, Caitlin Bennett uh, from Liberty Takeout. Now, this particular video is speaking in regards to black voters breaking the narrative. So I'm not really sure what the narrative is, but I would be very, very interested to know what it, what they're talking about. Breaking? What they're speaking regarding to. Okay. So what, breaking what narrative regarding black voters? Uh, Probably, on my assumption. Um, Ma maybe, maybe the mindset of, of a black voter. Yeah. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'd be, I'm interested to see, to hear this. But we know with uh, Caitlyn Bennett, how she takes it to the street. She likes to go out and talk to everyday people to get everyday people's opinions. And uh, sometimes I feel like everyday people's opinions or, you know, how they feel matters more than sometimes like the political figures and, and, and leaders and things of that nature. Because well, you're talking to actual people that, that's out here working, living, that's kind of living uh, this so-called uh, American dream. You know yeah. what I mean? So. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and jump into it. Here we go. You ready? Yes, definitely. And I know this is kind of weird because of like my skin color and my background, but Trump has actually done quite a few good things for the country. I hate when people say, oh, black lives matter. What about all lives? Who are you Trump. voting for? Donald like Trump. Trump. You like Donald Trump? <laughs> Let me Who tell you, I actually, he is a pretty cool person. He, he is cool straightforward. Person. I haven't really heard him say <laughs> nothing really racist yeah. but what about the five-year-old little white boy though what happened what about him you know i feel like all lives matter not just one what are you guys gonna who are you voting for donald you like trump? trump you like donald trump to, let me who tell you i actually he is a pretty cool person he, he is cool straightforward person. He, I'm not voting for him, somebody, but he's a cool person. I just want to know, because a lot of people are in a race court. I'm not racist. I love everybody. So it doesn't matter. But I haven't really heard him say nothing really racist. Like, I never. what was it? What was it that he really said that was racist? He was he's a straightforward person to me. Yeah, he's very straightforward. Like, that's what they about Donald Trump. He's a motherfucking asshole. He's ignorant as sugarcoat nothing. He don't sugarcoat shit. So he get my vote. Well, that's my my question. I've asked oh, probably vote. hundreds of people right. name man. something Donald Trump has said or yeah, done that's yeah, racist, man. and they can't give it to me. He didn't gave us some money, okay? Well, this is a pandemic. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the? He been helping us all this time. You get what I'm saying? Like, I never, I, I, I ain't to be honest with you, I ain't never heard him say, you know, I heard him say idiotic, shit, but you know, it wasn't so bad, racist. You know what I'm saying? Everybody doing the racist card, like that. Honestly, like, and I know this is kind of weird because of, like, my skin color and my background, but Trump has actually done quite a few good things for the country. Like, and I mean for the country, not, like, for any individual, like, race or, you know, gender or anything. He's done well for the country overall. We all knew what type of person he was when he, we had, he had a show, all right? And he made it real famous off of saying, you're fired, and we love to hear him say that. So, so we chose a president that made it big off of something like that. Of yeah. course, you know what I'm saying? That was Being straightforward and blunt. Yeah, right, right, right. Don't get mad now, you thing. know what I'm saying? Now, he thought right? he was playing when he went. He won. He won. Yeah. Don't forget, guys, for uncut and behind-the-scenes footage, you can go to libertyhangout.tv. It's a good time to figure out how we do things here, what it looks like as we're trying to film these incredible interactions, libertyhangout.tv. It's a good time. Between family debates, I don't like choosing a side in my family because then I'm going to be like, I, I will literally be fought again. Like, well, you're not choosing a side. You're just saying this man's our president because you already said he's done a good job. He's done he an okay done, job. He's done, a, he's done an okay job overall. He's done a good job overall. I'm not going to say okay. He's done a good job overall. I hate when people say, oh, black lives matter. That's another thing, you know, even in regards to like Donald Trump, just in regards to like when I hear everyday people speak, speak in regards to Trump, I don't, I don't ever really hear people say, I don't like him because he's racist. Mm -hmm. I, I, if anything, I hear them say, I don't like him because he's an asshole or I don't like him because some of the straightforward stuff that he says, but I, I never really got anybody saying, oh, he's racist. Oh, I have. 
You heard people say he's, I, he yeah, is I've racist? Heard that, I've heard that multiple times, like plenty of times that we, like, yeah, I've multiple times. I feel like that's mostly the reason why they feel like that. You know, the things that they push out on, on the news and a lot of it comes from, you know, what they're showing. Well, I'm not talking about the news. But no, I'm saying they say that <laughs> because of a lot but, of what they've the gotten. News. Yeah, okay. like from the media, things that have been kind of put out into the forefront, like pushing the agenda, if you the will. Ra- the but, racial yeah, narrative. Absolutely. Yeah, but again, like I said, I've never really like, if you, like I said, you speak to everyday people. For for me, people in my circle, I've never heard them say he's racist. They'd be like, nah, I just don't like him because some of the stupid stuff that he say. And, I've heard and, that and, too. And, and I feel like he shouldn't say it because he's a president, but right. I'm not particularly, oh, racism, you know? No, I've I've heard most of the time, it's, it's always been like, you know, people making statements about him being particularly racist. Nothing... Not so much the ignorance part of it, and it's, that's kind of odd that you say that because I think the majority of people that I've heard speak about him speak on that more so than anything else though, yeah. about Trump being a racist. The, more the supposed so than idiocy in regards to like things that he says and, and kind of does. But what's crazy though, in regards to like you know what we're talking about with black voters, it seems like it's it's more. Um, like like you know, and and I will obviously I won't say any names, but I. I know someone in particular that has, you know, like they talk on a regular basis amongst their family. And there's one person in particular that is all about Trump and it is a black family, but particularly they all are like, he just crazy. And, you know, I get this, uh, this other young man that we were just looking at, they were saying, you know, they literally will fight me on that. Like I, I completely understand like what it is that he's talking about. Yeah. What about all lives? Well, did you know that Black Lives Matter is actually written on the street down there? I understand that. You know, don't get me wrong. It's sad what happened. But what about the five-year-old little white boy, though? What happened? What about him? You know, I feel like all lives matter, not just one, you know. We should get together and paint that on the street, right? All lives matter? I get tired of hearing just one thing. You know, why it got to be just black people? Why can't be all colors? Puerto Rican, black, Indian, white. Now, now, Kanye West, though. Kanye, he got the money to back it up. He might be smart enough, but... He, he very influential, all right? And a lot of people is going to follow him. Now, him kind of kind of veering the votes away, you know what I'm saying, to, for, for Trump to get more, that's kind of a risky move for him. I wouldn't waste a lot of money on a political party to do something like that. But, all right, no more of my views. I'm saying this, send my damn stimulus check, okay? <laughs> gotcha. We are. Hey, his son follows me on Twitter. We'll send it out. We'll, we'll right. send it out, too. <laughs> So in every video, I've been urging you guys to go to CaitlinBennett.org. You have to get your pro-Trump merch from there. Go out and wear it loud and proud. We cannot be the the silent majority any longer. We have to publicly support him and not be afraid of these crazies out there on the street. CaitlinBennett.org, support my work. There's a raindrop in my eye. Go to CaitlinBennett.org right now. Go to LibertyHangout.tv right now to watch Caitlin. So yeah, I mean, even with them breaking down like the narrative in regards to what their narrative narrative is regarding mm-hmm. Donald Trump, uh, I just feel like it's more universal than 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 people probably realize in regards to like sometimes like their view of Donald Trump. I feel like sometimes that view in regards to like the racism part, I just I would, just like you were saying a minute ago, that's more along the lines of do it like the actual like mainstream media in regards to like how they inject that into. Um, you know, um, American society or in- inject that into the minds of, of voters and things like that. Right. You know, but again, I mean, and, and it's all based on everybody's own interpretation just regarding Donald Trump. But I like this video because, again, I, I always enjoy Caitlin Bennett when she goes and just speaks to everyday people and, and kind of get their get their opinion and what they think of a lot of different things in regards to like Donald Trump or whatever the particular uh, subject is. I think it's a historical thing. I, I think, like, historically, like, kind of like what we've watched, even through, like, watching some of the Larry Elder videos and in terms of, like, black people, you know, basically okay. kind of being, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, to be put into a category of just voting Democrat. Like, I feel like historically that has been, like, the case. And now it seems like over time, like, slowly but surely, like, people are starting to, you know, Maybe just do a little bit more research, just digging a little bit more, asking more questions, you know, not being so naive to just what's being put in front of them and, and just kind of digging in a little bit more. Yeah. Um, the 
the difficulty in that is just trying to get people to change their aspect of what it is that they've been, you know, kind of brought up in, in terms of their environment, rather it be a home environment. That's kind of something you've been taught. Like we vote Democrat. That's it. That's all, you know, that's all we know, you know, and that's it. My mom and dad did it. So I'm gonna do it too, uh -huh. you know, and not really just falling into that, but just kind of stepping out to learn on your own. Rather that keeps you in the same category, then, then so be it, you know, and, but, and you know, not, not to, where you still going? Mm -mm. Okay. No, but just kind of like what kind of what you're saying right there is just, you know, now we're in the age of, of being, having more access to information. So right. I feel like knowledge is key, like right. they say all the time. And with us gaining more access to, yeah. to more information, I mean, you have to, you need to use it, right. use it, uh, imply it, you know, apply it to your life. How, however you can apply it, right. but definitely, I mean, it, it, it opens your eyes up. Yeah. Yeah, whichever way you decide picture. to go, to I think picture. it's just something that everybody should do, regardless of how you how you turn out. You know, whether mm -hmm. you stick with what you know or, you know, it alters your your train of thoughts. I just feel like you know you should just do your own research and look and, into things and, on and your you're own. And you're seeing that shit, and you're seeing that shift regarding black voters and who they're voting for because right. of that, right? Because of the access to more information. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. Um, Y'all let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below. Come on down. If y'all enjoyed this, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell, join this family. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Definitely. <laughs>